Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and it's time for more Fate Samurai Remnant. I know last episode, Yori, Saber, everyone, they were all like, "Yeah, we're gonna get him. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna take it straight to Assassin." That's not happening. What we're going to do is we're gonna take like <laughs> one step out the door and immediately get distracted by like a hundred things. Today is today is a digression day, and I'm joined uh, as always by Cool Guy. And that's pre that's pretty much what uh, what I expect Iori's life always is. Like he has all all of these plans, and because he is both my mouse and man, they always go awry. He he just wants to go out and like swing his swords anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like we're, we're, if anything, we're stopping him from becoming like a sword cell. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get stuck straight in. Back to the lab again. Ah, oh, it's so chill and wonderful, yeah. and none of this is going to last because this is this is like the most owned lab in all of of Fate franchise, I imagine. Like just a million people attacking it all of the damn time. Yeah. Uh, so what we've just unlocked there, aside from food, you know, being more beneficial for us, is we've unlocked the ability to construct gems. It's not as useful as it sounds Yoga. because. Again, uh, it takes magical, like, equipment. You can basically just distill any magical item into the ingredients required to, uh, to, to make, like, to make gems. So if you've got, like, an abundance of something that's no longer asked for in any of the workshops, and the game is nice enough to tell you what items are and still are not being used, like, like, needed for, like, work workshop stuff, even in the future if you don't even know what it's gonna be. It produces them, like, one at a time over time, so it's kind of like you throw them in a thing, you throw them in a pot, and then you have a little bit of a wander off. And then you, you come back later. We are going to need to do it, see, I'm sort of showing it off here. And, you know, different items have, like, fill up a different percentage. We'll be able to upgrade the workshop so that we'll be able to craft, like, you know, with less requirements, but... Yeah, it's not really that. It's not really. We were that talking useful. about making stock recently, and this is this is looking a lot like making stock. So you kind of you kind of look at it. We will we will if we wanted to do like a bunch of tasks that are set before us. Actually, go through and and build some gems. I'm sort of just like showing it off a little here. Like like 40, 40 of that stuff gets us like ten. It's not really that great. It's, you know, as part and parcel of, like, 100%ing the game, we will have to spend a little bit of time in there doing stuff, but we... not for now. Uh, for now, we need to polish the sword again. Always gotta happen. And we have a special guest this time. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, why are, why are you here? Because she is just as fascinated with uh, with Iori's sword cleaning prowess as Saber. Okay, sure, why not? You know what? I, like, I'm with that. <laughs> She's probably also, you know, she 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 spent time with with uh, Masashi. She probably saw how to do sword maintenance. <laughs> Freaking saber wearing that dumbass mask again. Guess a little bit of food this time, and away we go. As I said, we'll we'll take one step outside and look who's on the map. Oh, glancer, huh? Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem like he's specifically waiting for us, though, because he's not, like, you know, outside the door. Well, uh, what's brought you all the way out here, but not to our doorstep? Like, that's a interesting positioning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes, you have, Iori. This place absolutely crawls with them. It's just that you usually murder them right after you seeing them. Certainly keeps busy, doesn't he? I, like we said, when when we when we got introduced to him, he's like that one dude from from Tales of Fantasia who just always wants to be fighting because otherwise he'll get out of shape. Yeah, 
he's another sort of character I could listen to talk for like days. <laughs> he does have a pretty buttery voice. There's no two ways about that. <laughs> So that, that, that run is a little bit of a reference uh, to a, uh, a sort of a parody that uh, Type Moon occasionally does with their different works called like Carnival Phantasm. They've done it for like Tsukahime, they've done it for Fate Stay Night, they've done it for Fate Grand Order, and uh, I believe in the Fate Stay Night one, uh, Rogue Lancer runs like that. <laughs> and so they've decided to just and, include like, it here. Even going 0 to 60 in like one step, you know, like that was also part a part of this that just yeah, sort of knocked me on my heels. Yeah, Masashi's the same way to be perfectly honest. I shouldn't be surprised. <sighs> Hey, did you did you see a weirdly buff blue guy come by here? <laughs> wow, that I was fucking joking. Oh my lord. Yeah, we'll be we'll be passing by a lot of people, even if we aren't specifically required to talk to them, who would just be like, man, what the fuck? What was that? Hmm. <laughs> So, like a lot of people would like just were, imagining were, things, just like having their day, and this like just like blurred past them, and they were just like, "What? Huh? Are sure? This is like, like this is what uh, what it feels like living next to Sonic the Hedgehog." <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. Yeah, no, that's actually Gotta go fast. a horrifyingly accurate description in this particular case. <laughs> all we need now, all we need to do now is give Rogue Lancer a bunch of chili dogs and see how he reacts. If he go, uh, goes in after them and declares them his favorite food, then, like, we've got trouble. As long as we don't make Arya into Amy. <laughs> Amy with weed in the system. Well, time to, time to beat up on some uh, some scrubs, I guess. So this is why is why you switched to Arya as your your assist because you knew Rogue Lancer was going to be temporarily occupied. Yeah, but also because um to unlock some more of her discretionary stuff, you do need to actually use her her buffing ability a few times. Ah, so it was basically just a case of uh, I've already done like the killing all the monsters things I needed to do with with Rogue Lancer, so I thought I'd just you know chuck her on as well. Yeah. Small fries smell like potatoes. Here he goes again. <laughs> Way past Food cool. Streak speeds by. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> doesn't doesn't have quite the same uh, same ring to it. I mean, like I can't. It, if I could, if I could use his real, his his true name, I could make the syllables work. But I'm not doing that for uh, for for a stupid Sonic the Hedgehog joke. She's <laughs> just having fun at this point. Oh please. Like you're like you're motivated by by any kind of of freaking altruism at this point. You're just ha having fun chasing down the blue guy and fighting what he scares up. You're like a bird dog at the, at this point, Saber. And that's not a bad thing. Like let's lean into that. Saber is certainly uh, competitive at the best of times. So. Huh. No doubt uh, that played a very strong role in it as well. Reminds me of some of uh, some of the rivalries that uh, that you had set up for you in the Fable series. Only you know, like these are actually rivalry, uh, like playful rivalries that uh, that are well told and well coached out, rather than that. This is your rival now. No, really, this is your rival now that you got in a lot of the Fable games. 
you okay? <laughs> My tummy's a little off today. <laughs> I thought you were you were just enjoying le uh, letting Saber and Saber and Rogue Lancer have their fun. There you go. So much going on that even the even the game starts dropping a whole bunch of frames. So what do you reckon we're gonna be facing down here? A fiend. A new way. A new way. <laughs> I mostly I mostly default to uh, to that because it's a it's a bigger one that you hate. <laughs> the new way is my mortal enemy. Like you know, ev everyone has a mortal enemy. Uh, mine is mine is like a giant monster with a snake tail and like the face, like tiger's body in a face of a face of a monkey. Really, really annoying for a uh, freaking freaking neo enemy. Got anything to hand in? Yeah, no. Oh, I was gonna say. Like, you're counting on me for what? Because I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot that guy's face. Huh. Going to boss's room. Oh, that'll end well. <laughs> He's like, oh no. <laughs> Saber knows shit is wrong, too. Ah. You're gonna be disappointed, buddy. いや、待て。もしや君が感じた気配の主は。おい、うるさいぞ、貴様ら。冷やかしならば遠く帰るがよい。へえ。随分と妙なサーバントがいたもんだ。<笑><笑> <おー。笑> <笑> <おー。笑> Right. <laughs> you're, you're about to see boss in fine form. <laughs> you need to stop. You need to stop. Materanza. <laughs> Listen to the to Irori here. Like he's looking out for your well-being. <笑><笑>この狂犬が牙剥き出して吠え散らすから皆が恐れて我が店に寄りつかんではないか Please, all money belongs to you at the end of the day anyway, Gilgamesh. Like, you're just causing trouble so you can cause trouble. <laughs> He's an incredible shitster. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's actually true. I gotta give him that one. Oh, <laughs> あの池津金ま、せいぜい気をつけることだ。I'm mostly just staying silent just so you can just hear boss just absolutely just putting on a master class. Crawl <laughs> out that the uh, that that tone. That was perfect. Oh my gosh.
The music just kind of going be between serious drama and just vaudeville, too. Please be sure you're leaving without fun. Yeah, good man. Good man. <laughs> no, that is exact. That is just good. Sarah <laughs> really just wanted to say boss gets slapped in the face. There's no, there's no possible way that could have ended well for anybody involved. That's like, that's like large scale destruction. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, they do know each other. There's but, no way they don't know each other. Like, but they're... generally speaking, when a servant is incarnated, they're like what's inscribed in the throne is pretty much what they remember. So things about their life, legends, things like that. So if they've been around in a Grail War, um, they won't remember what happened during that Grail War unless it was particularly profound. Like, something that's, like, an extremely profound encounter can actually sort of alter their memories. It's it's whiffly waffly about, you know, who remembers and who doesn't. The, 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 ans the answer is, we will remember if, it, uh, if it's funny and or dramatic. Yeah, so in, in this particular case, they've chosen to, to make it so that uh, Rogue Lancer and Boss... Uh, although Boss, Boss certainly didn't say he didn't know. Uh, it's entirely possible Boss... Easily remembers, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, like again, talking about about who bo uh, who boss is, he absolutely exists on a plane above a lot of mundane rules. <laughs> yes. And yeah, we've got we've got a we've got another job for him as well, and uh, yeah, we're going to Akasaka now. I mean, you know what? I'd be down with it if for no other reason than it's guaranteed to be an interesting time. Correct answer is, no sir, only that, uh, that you have mongrels like us do your bidding for you. <laughs> so a merchant that doesn't leave his store, is that a sell sell? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every single time. Every single time. And he has to bribe him. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Dump private bribing saber with dumplings. Like, I, like I would get bribed, honestly. Somebody's just like, hey, do this nonsense for me. I'll just get dumplings. I. He really just does like, like just try to press all the buttons at once to see what happens. Correct attitude. Let's see how long long you manage to keep that attitude. Mm -hmm. So one of the one of the things is that uh like this this one's more of a a, a digression where where they they lay it on a little thick to giving more hints about who this is. So if you haven't already figured it out yourself, you know right. if you're not particularly familiar, it's certainly giving it a like, giving it a little bit more of a, of, a, of you know speculation to work on. <laughs> It would be gaudy as hell. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, there's no way you would just have a plainly adorned Tori like this. He'd be probably have it gold. Exactly. And he and la, like the jo uh, the joints would be encrusted with emeralds. And he'd have like, you know, like Babylonia, like painted down the sides. Yeah. Like now we're talking about about something that would work for boss. Yeah, got to be as gaudy as possible. I absolutely am he I'm hearing some of the people at home just sighing with relief that uh, that I didn't go uh, go on the long haul of of missing boss's name by the way. So this entire this entire digression isn't just uh, just let of like pain after pain. <laughs> Yeah, 
ここをバビロニア二号店とするもよいか若旦那新たに店を構える腹であったか I mean, it would be a different kind of shop there's no reason to compete so close to yourself <laughs> now what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely convinced this entire trip hasn't just been to like pro poke and prod at these two. I could definitely see I could definitely see that. Like of like boss just, uh, just basically decide, uh, deciding he likes he likes them enough to harass them. Like that that is unironically some, uh, something the OG Gilgamesh would have absolutely done. Like especially with with how with how he got he became you know buddies with Enkidu or whatever, he decides he uh, he likes you. He's just it's just gonna push all of your buttons to see uh, to see what happens and if it's amusing like uh, like you're his friend from then on in. Yeah, he's really he's really interested in like interesting people, interesting things, and uh, in a way, I guess Iori's probably fairly interesting. Iori is definitely pre uh, pretty interesting simply because he uh, like he's a doer who keeps doing. That was all. That was always the thing that really defined Gilgamesh and Enkidu is that when things hap when things happened, they happened because of them. And if something happened to them, they always reacted. So this is like the biggest hint. Siduri is Siduri the name. Oh. Was the name of the ale ales woman that he met on his journey for immortality. Yep. The journey that he failed because he couldn't stay awake for eight days straight. <laughs> it's just so funny just to imagine him just like eventually just kind of falling over. Day six. Honestly, getting to day six is better than I would have done. So. Yeah, I don't remember how many days he lasted. Just that no human being can go a week without sleep. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think they pretty much die if that happens. I, know, I mean, yeah, like I, I can, I can tell you very, uh, very seriously that, you know, like it's a, even a plot point in, for example, the Nightmare on Elm Street fil uh, films that after about seventy-two hours, it's. That's it. You're done. Like, uh, like even if even if you uh, you are constantly trying uh, like doing things to keep yourself awake, you will not off for micro sleeps because uh, because your your body is just so exhausted. <laughs> Jen's actually a vampire in this continuity. Hey, look, they exist in the in the in the universe. There's like a whole classification for 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 creatures that like drink blood to sustain themselves. Great, of course there would be. <laughs> why why did I ever? Why did I think that was a joke? Inai. Inai. <laughs> I wonder if Zhou Yu takes one lo uh, look at boss and is just like, Nope, sir, we are going the other way. Oh, oh, you're, you're going to love what, what Zhou Yu has to say about boss. He does seem fairly capable. Oh lord. さて、仮に大陸のものとしても難しいかもしれん。一口に大陸と言っても広いからな。最近。え、え、very <laughs> Dorothea is probably the best person to ask, but she's currently trying to kill us, so... <laughs> Save you, you're just a bad team. Yeah. The voice acting for Saber The voice acting is so perfect. Oh lord. You have met him, haven't you, Zhou Yu? 
心当たり。I mean, you know, I, I, it, I guess it's a guess if he's a.、Uh, you know. It's not a terrible guess. It's wrong, but you know, like. <laughs> Unrivaled is, is overselling him, but Sal,、uh, like Sal, Sal Sal was act, actually was a pretty good po、uh, poet. Like, you can still read a bunch. A bunch of his poems today, and like he has a very good a good concept of of a lot of the subtleties of language. Oh, goody, 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 goody. I'm so excited. <laughs> Shut up, Saber. I want to see him fight with Zhou Yu. Saber, you. I'm going to start the game. Oh, shit. I'm going to start the game. 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 Oh, you just stepped in it. Wait for it. Here we go. Oh, that look in his eyes. No show. Tokuni. Tanin. Hello, I have a hand grenade. Would you please hold it while I pull the pin? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The funny thing is, you weren't! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did beat Sao Sao. I think Sao Sao actually made a play to try and recruit Zhou Yu, and Zhou Yu、uh, kinda. kinda took. I, I can't remember if he took a commission. And then just kind of like wandered off into the distance and never came back. Or if he like said, Oh, look, I gotta, I gotta sort out a few things, I'll, I'll get back to you. And then didn't get back to him. I think it was the latter. Like, like, like Zhou, Yu, Zhou Yu in life was much too,、uh, too subtle to give somebody like Cao Cao a no to his face. <laughs> like, he, he knew better than that. Like the, the, the reason why I'm cackling like an absolute moron, by the way, is that,、um, yes, Sao Sao did,、uh, did have a particular taste for the wives of,、uh, of other men,、uh, but he also implicitly invoked the,、uh, invoked the, the story that,、uh, that I told. About Gilgamesh, and one of the primary reasons wh、uh, why he was as a lawgiver and a, and a strong ruler still kind of hated because he insisted on sleeping with every newlywed woman before, his,、uh, before her husband would. Like, like, that was an entire thing, and that's why they tried to set Enkidu after him. So, like, like, it wasn't Sao Sao, but that was still an incredibly well targeted question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gilgamesh, for a second, there, Gilgamesh was, for a second there was, was definitely like, does he know? <laughs> He's like, you best shut up, boy. You best shut up. <laughs> like, homies who don't shut up right now, they get slapped. Yeah. 
So we've got up to the battle map. So they're talking about heading to uh, to attack uh, Assassin's stronghold, Dorothea's stronghold via a uh, via not using the ley lines, so that they don't sort of telegraph their approach. And so they're going to try and sort of, you know, wandering quietly, suddenly appear in the area, and hopefully make it easier for their allies to make their way there. Same as I I'd imagine you would. But yeah, uh, continuing continuing the fight will will cause us problems. Uh, insofar as it'll end a few digressions, and we're not going to do that. We're we are going to go down and, and get the saber the saber uh, thing. Jururi. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they got gurgle in there, huh? Okay. <laughs> that was that was an onomatopoeia for a uh, for a fish, by the way. Like that was <laughs> that uh, that was uh, a, a slightly more subtle reference that uh, than might otherwise be be in this game. In this game's otherwise like just fantastic translation. <laughs> We're doing this again? No, we aren't. Somebody else he is. He is. Berserker Banquet. Oh. Wrong neighborhood, homie. Yep, they never gave up on trying to get into Yashuaro. And uh, yeah, Berserker, we can oh, make use of. And these baby. are the names of the skills. And we can make use well, of him. Well, he ain't my boy, but the brother is heavy. Gave away my possessions and moved into a Chevy. Man, yeah, it's the master plan. Right to the woods and he corn at the can. <laughs> You're just as fucked as when, uh, when, the, when the convicts showed up in Dead Rising. He's literally just shouted that motherfucker to death. That's so good. Oh yeah, he got power for days. Leveler of temples, flare of lions. Oh,武蔵。師匠は you were saying some uh, something when we were warming up to this particular episode um, off camera that this game keeps managing to top itself in pure joy and like I just every time I look at at Musashi, that is absolutely true. This game is just constantly trying to top itself in pure joy. Everything escalates, but it always escalates with a smile. <laughs> berserkers get berserkers, apparently. あれはまあ、アンズルことはないだろう。本当強いしね、彼。ダンキの方が戦いやすい。まであるわ。And yeah, we're uh, we're playing as Rogue Berserker for uh, Okay, for cool. Just in fight. case you didn't sub in enough, I guess. Yeah. And uh when we're playing as him, the game gives us some, uh, some... <laughs> it's always nice to be unleashing those attacks, rather than, like, you know, be on the receiving end of them. But, um, yeah, like, gives us some food that we can eat if we take damage, because, yeah, that's, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Anyway, we're suplexing a snake. Suplexing a s <laughs> Okay, like, this is my favorite fucking episode. <laughs> 
I'm done. We're good. We can't, we can't do Flare of Lions so let's just yell. <laughs> Incident, uh, incidentally, like, Leveler of the Templars, uh, Temples and fla uh, Flare of Lions. It's a huge... And... Like it, it's rel it's relatively obvious uh, obvious that uh, that Rogue Berserker is not intended to be a Japanese hero just because of the ge uh, the general set, uh, set of his his set and shape of his face and those move names. I'm updating my uh, my guess from Agamemnon to Samson, as in the biblical Samson. <laughs> well, if it was Samson, he'd have an ability called Wear This Cloak. <laughs> That's a deep cut. That is a deep <laughs> cut. I appreciated it, though. Oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> Masashi's just, uh, just like, well, he's having fun. He's got the snake problem under control. We'll continue to battle the, uh, the pirates. So, yeah, we can deploy Musashi in this fight now. <laughs> She was zero to sixty. That's berserkers for you. Excuse you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. Just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> That's what she knew what to do. There we go. I'm, I'm throwing my grenade out a little bit more here. My live coal, as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Explode on contact so you can sort of get him on the upswing. Do you mind? This freaking loser with his cutlass. Okay. For a minute there, I thought you literally jumped over his attack, and that would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. It's actually St. Patrick the Snake Herder. <laughs> she is loving every moment of this. <laughs> yep, and we're back to being berserker. <laughs> You were, you were saying this, you know, having already beaten him once. I didn't stay down for long, though. I'm like, oh, I can, uh, I can suplex this. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> didn't get oh to grab my. him, but I got to suplex a snake into the giant phantom snake. That is such a joy to watch. Oh my lord. <laughs> Got the, the weird kind of rocket punch. He just there we go. There it is. I did show that up before, but it's just like game over, you soon to be boots. Oh, buddy. これにて一見落着ね。好きだちありがとう。二人とも。いえ。見てみぬふりはできませんから。ちょっと<笑><笑> はあ。さてはあなた。まだ
もしやあれのことではないかほら先日のバーサーカーとの交戦後に拾ったあれだそういえばバーサーカー貴殿のうせ者というのはもしやこれのことか I literally forget what even they picked up. Ah, right. Yes, the yes. knife. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's entirely possible to just not get any digressions from Berserker Don if you don't do that quest. If you if you put it off until it's too late. <laughs> yeah, that's、uh, rather reinforcing my guess. そうは見えないぞむしろその逆だええー、そうむしろ彼きっと相当ごくないねこれは、ね、彼女の笑顔が本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に良かったわね、バーサーカードの。And with that, r o b e r z e r k e r can join us、oh, for fights. Fuck! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yo, Izo! Ah, so this was a pretty short episode because the next episode is similar to the, the climax of the previous chapter. It's gonna be a. It's, it's just going to be a big f- escalating conflict. Like, and it's going to top the previous one. So. Of course, f- what? So, yes, next time we, we attack the, the heart of、uh, Dorothea Coyette's.、Uh, you know, her, the, the heart of her position. And、uh, it ain't gonna be easy because, well, you're fighting a mage in the middle of their workshop. And we're about to see just how good of a mage she really is. So until then, I've been the Lost Robokai. I have been Cool Guy. And we'll see y'all next time.